I have given up over $350,000 over the last three months. Let me tell you why. Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? It is good to be back. I know it's been a couple months since I've uploaded, but I'm back here. And I got some stories to tell you. I've been gone for a while, and a lot of things have happened over the last few months. And it's kind of crazy to see where I am right now, despite these different things happening. Um, right now, as y'all can tell, I'm in a totally different environment, totally different background. I'm not even in the United States, y'all check it out. I'm actually in Manila, Philippines right now. I'm in Manila and I have no regrets. It's amazing being here. I love it. I'm here until the end of the month. I've been here for about a week now and it's been pretty amazing. So let's get to the story. That's why you're here. You want to hear how or and why I gave up over $350,000 over the last three months. <laughs> So if y'all know me, I've been working at a particular company for like 10 months before I left. I think it was 11 months actually. Before I left that company, they were paying me really well. <laughs> uh, yes, it was the most I've ever been paid in my career. Prior to that job, I was making about $90,000 a year working for a startup. And this is not including YouTube money, it's not including my side businesses, but just as a base salary, just as a sal just my salary in general. Prior to this company, I was making 90K a year. Then when I joined this company, I started making about $160,000 a year, not including bonuses not including stock options with stock options bonuses in my base i was making about one hundred eighty-three thousand dollars a year not even including the fact that well what my manager at least told me at the time was that they plan on promoting me to a senior developer relations engineer at that company where i would have been making about two hundred ten thousand dollars a year total compensation but anyway that, that didn't happen so i can't include that into my salary right so i was working at this company 11 months making pretty good decent money the most i've ever had and i ended up leaving after 10 to 11 months which is crazy when i'm making like 90k a year 80k a year 70k a year 45k a year prior to this job i remember thinking i just want to make i, I just want to pass six figures all of my friends are making over six figures and they started after me and i'm here making 70 to 90k a year now at this at a startup that i joined and when i finally hit that figure way over a hundred thousand dollars a year i was just thought man life is complete and it's amazing and it was life-changing and, and it was but i still ended up leaving that's it's crazy right and why did i leave honestly i just felt like i couldn't relate with anyone in the company in the team like i loved my boss my boss is amazing and it was really hard for me to relate to people there and, and unfortunately from that company even though i left like i don't talk to anyone from that company anymore right and, and, it, and it's sad because at every company i've ever worked at prior to that company i still talk to people from my first job i still talk to people from my second job that I joined but this one company i just couldn't relate with anyone it, 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 every, i mean i liked everyone they were cool but i just didn't feel comfortable if that makes sense and so at that point i had to make a decision i had to make a really important decision where yes i'm making hella money but I'm not happy at all, right? And so, and so right before we had our on-site meeting, our team meeting, our quarterly team meeting in Portland, I gave my two weeks notice. I joined another startup. And so I left this company paying me 160K a year, but also why? Yes, I wasn't happy there. Um, it was a, it's a great company, great co-workers, you just didn't relate. I received another job offer. Right? I received another job offer at this startup, which has a lot of potential. It really does. It was amazing. And this startup ended up offering me $180,000 a year. So in the span of three months, I had a job paying me about 180K a year, 160K base. And I had another job that was paying me a base salary of $180,000 a year to be a developer advocate for them as well. I joined this company. It was great. It was great. It was amazing. It was it was fantastic the first week. But after the first week, everything went down down the drain. Everything went down the hole. It was horrible. I was I'll, I'll tell you this. I thought I was unhappy leaving that company paying me 160k a year. But when I joined this company, the last company looked like heaven. <laughs> if that makes sense. It was so bad. And maybe it's my fault because I didn't vet my manager enough. Uh, maybe I didn't vet that company enough. I'm not going to mention the name. No one knows that I work there. Like, I don't say it to anyone on social media. I was, I, I, and I'm glad I didn't because I wasn't there long. But when I was at this company, I had such horrible experiences. Horrible experiences where I, like, I, I've never felt this before. But when I was at this company, I had this level of anxiety I've never had before where I don't even want to go to sleep. Because if I go to sleep, I have to wake up and I have to work the next day. It was that bad. 
when a manager is supposed to have your back and then they say things like we need to make sure your salary is worth it meaning threatening you after just a couple weeks it doesn't feel comfortable i mean even during meetings this manager would call other people dumb and saying you don't talk like that you sound stupid and i'm like wow like you know what i mean like we're all paid pretty well we're in a tech industry and it just blew my mind to see all this stuff because everyone knows to be honest especially in devrel we can get a job almost anywhere anytime devrel is so hot at least right now i don't know about a couple years from now but devrel is so hot and the tech industry is so hot there are so many companies who are looking to hire more people who are trying to take developers from the companies i'm like why are you talking to us like that when we can just leave like that like that's not right and so i was there for two months i think it was two months and i've never done this i've never done this i quit like one day notice i'm done i couldn't handle it anymore there's a lot of things that happen i don't want to talk about so what i'm trying to say is that over the span of three months Yes, I got paid pretty good salaries, high salaries from 160K base to 180K base. One thing I learned was that money really isn't everything. And I know I've said in the past and everyone says that everyone says that, right? But like, just because you're getting paid more money doesn't mean you'll be more happy there. Just because you make over 150K a year doesn't mean, yeah, life is easier, but your work life isn't that great. And people might say to me, Chris, you're stupid. You're getting paid so much money. Just take it like a man, right? People have told me that actually on Twitter. But no, my mental health is number one. And yeah, I when you add up the total salaries, I threw away about $350,000 in income, potential income, right? Having no job lined up, by the way. When I quit that last job, I had no job lined up at all whatsoever. Nothing, nothing at all. It's crazy. I had no job lined up and I still did it because I was that unhappy. After I quit, I just kept interviewing for jobs for a couple more weeks. I got multiple and multiple, multiple interviews. Then I received two job offers pretty much within the same week. And these job offers that I received, I'm not going to tell you the actual salary because I still worked at one of these companies. They paid much more than $180,000 a year. I'll tell you that. And so I'm so proud of myself of that because I was willing to quit a high paying job despite the pressure, despite if that company did well, I would be a multi, multi, multi million, decade millionaire. I left that for happiness and I ended up finding another job where I got paid much better, where I'm much happier. And what I mean by happier, I'm still working my full-time job y'all and I'm in the Philippines right now. Isn't that crazy? I'm working my secure nine to five full-time job and I'm still in the Philippines. I traveled here totally fine. No problem at all for work. Like. I'm gonna tell you this, I am happy as hell and I made the right decision. So I guess the end of the story is this, right? Happiness number one. Anyway, that's what I want to end the video with. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. My name is Chris Sean. And this is the life of a web developer, AKA digital nomad. <laughs> am I really digital nomad? Because I'm working from around the world, probably. I'll see you guys next time.